Hello, my name is Steve and I sell stuff on eBay as a hobby. And in this video, I want to show you my payout for the 11th of July, 2023. But first of all, let's have a look at what sold. It's Wednesday, the 5th of July. And this evening, I've got my first sale of the week, which is a bundle of books by Alfred Bester. Um, now, this is from my... Um, really old science fiction collection i've uh, been collecting science fiction books for a very long time but um i've decided to let some of it go make a bit of room in the house uh, i can't hold on to them forever uh, but i have held on to these for over 30 years and a little bit sad to see them go um but anyway i have sold them um, I've sold them for the full asking price of £35 plus £3.49 postage and packing, which isn't too bad for um, six, seven paperbacks. Um, well, let me go through the titles with you. They are by Alfred Bester. Tiger Tiger is probably his most famous uh, novel. Um, and that's a, a penguin paperback from the 1970s, 1980s. Uh, there's The Deceivers. There's Starburst. There's this, which um, is The Light Fantastic. I think that's a, a collection of stories. Um, and then we've got The Demolished Man. <coughs> Excuse me, The Demolished Man, which is uh, another quite well-known one. Um, and then we've got this, which is The Dark Side of the Earth, another collection of stories, and Starburst. Uh, yes, Starburst. That's the second copy of Starburst in the same bundle. Um, and uh, the, the odd thing with this is um, I'd forgotten I'd got doublers on this, and I only noticed that uh, I was actually uh, listing two of the same title uh, when I put it up on eBay. Uh, I'd taken photographs of it and everything. And it was only when I came to writing the list that I realised it was a doubler. Uh, and rather than take one out and do the whole process again, I decided to leave it in because they are very different editions. Um, I do, uh, that's quite a striking cover. This one has got a little bit of water damage. Um, so I thought I'd, I'd leave them both in and that doesn't seem to have deterred the buyer. Um, I presume that he has properly read the description. But anyway, they, there we are. That is um, seven paperbacks, uh, six novels and uh, collections by Alfred Bester. £35 plus £3.49. Now, I can't resist doing just a little bit of trivia for you. Uh, if you were interested in cult science fiction, you may recall that there was a, a character in Babylon 5 played by Walter Koenig of um, Star Trek fame, um, who was called Alfred Bester after the novelist Alfred Bester. So just a little bit of trivia to um, liven up the video. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll be posting those off tomorrow, but not that one. That's not for sale at the minute. It's Thursday the 6th of July and yesterday evening I got in an order for this bundle of books by James Anderson. Now um, these are three books in the Inspector Wilkins series. In fact I think they're the entire three books in the Inspector Wilkins series and um, it's basically a bundle of cosy mysteries or in this case Egg Cozy Mysteries for the first title is The Affair of the Bloodstained Egg Cozy. And the second title in the series here is The Affair of the Mutilated Mink. And this one, which is The Affair of the 39 Cufflinks. So that's three books by James Anderson. Um, these have gone for the full asking price of £10, including postage and packing. I did originally put them up for £12.50, but that was some time ago. Dropped the price, and now it's sold for that price, um, and I'll be able to post those out this morning. It's still Thursday morning, and I've just had um, what I think is quite a surprising sale, really, which is this Star Trek calendar, Star Trek The Next Generation 1996 calendar, to be precise. Uh, I'm not sure how clearly you can see that there is um, still in a shrink wrap, uh, so it's quite reflective. Um, but yeah, I guess this is uh, quite a collectible item, although I have had it up for an awful long time, and uh, nobody's 
bought it until this morning, obviously. It's got some illustrations there from uh, Star Trek The Next Generation um, films. Uh, I think that's Generations. Um, might be wrong. No, yeah, that's definitely Generations. That one's All Good Things, the final episode of the uh, Next Generation series. Oh, and there's Captain Kirk there, so that's definitely Generations. Um, so there we are, 1996 calendar. I listed this for um, £6 plus £4 postage and packing, I think. So it's £10 altogether. Um, I was, I don't tend to charge so much for postage and packing now because £4 sounds uh, a bit more than I'm actually paying. But once I've factored in costs, it's, it's not that unfair a price, really. Uh, but there we are, that's uh, £10 altogether, uh, 1996 calendar. It's Saturday the 8th of July and I've just sold a bundle of books by Bernard Cornwall, six books in his Sharp series. Uh, now this is about the third bundle of Sharp books that I've sold. First bundle went within about an hour of my listing it. Um, the second one took a little bit longer, but I got a nice price on that one as well. Now, this bundle of six has gone for £15 all in, which is the full asking price, so uh, I am quite pleased with that. But I've got a few more sharp bundles left uh, to go, so let's hope they get sold over the course of time. So, what is in this bundle? Well, there's this. It is Sharp's Prey. And we've got Sharp's Eagle. Sharp's Havoc. Sharp's Enemy, Sharp's Honour, and finally in a, a different edition we've got Sharp's Siege. Uh, now that is different from the others. Uh, I might really, if I can, sell a bundle to be send, selling them in a uniform edition. Uh, but that one was there so I put it in with a bundle, so that made six altogether. Uh, they've gone for £15 all in and I will be posting that out tomorrow. It's Sunday the 9th of July. This sale came through in the middle of the night after I'd gone to bed. It's Harry Harrison's Eden Trilogy. Uh, this is set in a world where the dinosaurs survived and evolved into intelligent beings competing with mankind. Um, so there's three books. Obviously, it's a trilogy. Uh, the first of which is West of, uh, sorry, West of Eden. Then we've got Winter in Eden. And finally here we've got Return to Eden. So that's three books. I've listed these for £15 and 50 pence all in um, and the buyer has paid the full amount for that. So I should be able to post those this afternoon. And this morning I accepted an offer uh, on this bundle of books by Roger Zelazny. There's seven books there. I listed these for £40 and yesterday I got an offer of 31 I left it overnight because that's uh, obviously a £9 drop uh, from the asking price. But I got up this morning, had a look at the condition of the books and thought, well, yeah, OK, maybe I'm asking too much, really. So I accepted the £31. I am still waiting to be paid, uh, but hopefully that will come in, uh, hopefully today, so that I can post uh, all of my parcels at the same time. Uh, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens happens with that. Um, but let's have a look at the titles. Uh, we've got this one, which is Isle of the Dead. Uh, that's, as you can see, is quite badly creased on the cover there. Um, this one is Damnation Alley. Uh, apparently to be made in a into a film, but um, I don't recall the film. Uh, Road Marks. Again, a creased cover there. This is Nine Princes in Amber, uh, which is perhaps his most well-known series of books, the uh, Amber series. So it's Nine Princes in Amber. Then we've got Lord of Light. This one, uh, which is called The Doors of His Face, The Lamps of His Mouth, and other stories. Uh, so it's quite a nice cover there. Uh, and finally, we've got this one, which is Jack of Shadows. 
So that's seven books by Roger Zelazny for £31, yet to be paid for. I'm sure it will be, uh, and hopefully then I'll be able to post everything this afternoon. It's Sunday evening now, the Zelazny books have been paid for, and I've accepted an offer on this bundle of books by Clive Cussler. Um, now, these books I picked up um, one by one, really, as I've been buying books in charity shops at three or four for a pound. When you can't find that uh, third or fourth volume, you've got to find something else. So that is what these tend to be, really. Um, I have managed to put together four Clive Cussler books, which I listed for £10 all in. I've accepted an offer of £8 on that. Uh, just quite glad to get rid of them, really. Uh, so let's have a look at the titles. Uh, we've got Poseidon's Arrow, which is written with uh, Dirk Cussler, uh, obviously a relative. I don't know if he's his brother or son or something. It's in the Dirk Pitt series of novels. <clears throat> we've got Sahara. And this one is called The Chase. And then we've got Atlantis Found, which is another Dirk Pitt novel. So that's four books by Clive Cussler for £8 all in, and I'll be posting that out tomorrow. It's Monday the 10th of July, and I've actually put my account on hold at the moment on time away because I'm going away for a couple of days. Uh, but my items are still uh, visible, and somebody has bought this bundle of books by John Wilcox. Uh, now, these are five books in the Simon Fonthill series, which is a sort of... Uh, historical adventure sort of thing, uh, similar to Sharp, I suppose. Um, I'm not that familiar with them, but I saw this pile of books and I thought, well, they must be worth a go. So I got them and I sold them for the full asking price of £12.50. And the titles are Siege of Khartoum and The Shanghai Patrol. The War of the Dragon Lady, Across the Belt, and finally we've got Bayonets Along the Border. Uh, so I'm assuming that that's going to be my last sale of the week, um, and I'm going to be posting those out tomorrow morning. £129.77 was sent to my bank account till the 11th of July after eBay took their fees. I got concessionary fees on a number of these items. The Zelazny books at £1.49, Clive Cussler at £61, Harry Harrison at £90, the Sharp books at £88, and the Alfred Bester books at £1.78. After postage, I'm left with £104.45. Everything's gone as a small parcel via Royal Mail, although a couple of them I paid for Track 48 at £3.45, pence. so that's the Rogers Elasny books and the Alfred Bester. Everything else has gone for £2.99. That's eight items sold, £104.45 after fees and postage costs. Eight items sold then on my first triple figure net profit since Christmas. So I'm quite pleased with that as a hobby seller. I don't really plan on selling many more items than that in any given week. Uh, but no items uh, for the rest of this week, or at least until the weekend, as I've put my account on hold. My uh, items are now invisible to sellers, so nobody's going to buy anything. Nobody's going to be able to buy anything whilst I'm away. Anyway, hope you found that interesting. If you did, please like the video, subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below and I hope to see you next week. Bye for now.